Grocery stores across Metro Detroit have been busy all day. People stock up before the snow with the kids, with the grown-ups and everything. They had to do it before they got home. Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Waterford, where there's been a steady stream of customers all day, Kim. And yes, Glenda, here at Tanuda's, I'm telling, telling you, this is a very popular place here. They've been busy all day, folks getting what they need now, so they don't have to come out again tonight or tomorrow. I need stuff to make a big pot of soup. Here at Tanuda's in Waterford, staying busy during snowstorms is part of tradition. Just stocking up on a few things that we forgot yesterday. It's booming. Usually a little snow brings them in pretty good. Uh, are you going to hunker down the next couple of days then? Yeah, someone stay in the house. One shelf of bread is already gone, but they've got plenty of stock on the basics like milk and eggs and everything else you might need, like snacks for kids who may be in the house all day tomorrow. Our language arts teacher told us to do all these things to ensure that we do have a snow day. Basically, I'm going to be in the house for the next couple of days, and I need milk. So what kind of things do you have to do to ensure you got a snow day tomorrow? Well, we got to throw ice out the window and down the toilet. I rescheduled an appointment I had tomorrow, so I don't even have to go in the office, and I can work from home. Pat Barnowski here is making sure her mother has enough groceries. I always make sure she's stocked up with lots of food. you got to take care of those elderly people. And one familiar staple here at Tanuda's that you won't find on the shelves is Frank Tanuda, whose parents started the business a long time ago. Tanuda's has been on the same corner in Waterford for 66 years this April. Yeah, we're all busy today. There's a if you go by the bread aisle, you'd see it's it's getting wiped out. You know, the bread vendors are off on Wednesdays, so can't do much about it. I mean, but they know it's coming and they they try to help. A lot of people may wonder, like, why haven't you thought about retiring? I am retired. <laughs> But you still come to the store? Yeah, to do it. Get out of the house. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> and what is the fruit that a lot of people want to eat during snowstorms? Get this, I'm told bananas. Perhaps because they're easy to eat, you can just peel them and get in bed and just sit there and watch Channel 7 and watch our meteorologists forecast the rest of this storm. And I'm telling you right about now, I feel like getting a banana and climbing back <laughs> in that new strike. <laughs> Back to you guys. I'm we thinking we Pringles, are with you. girl. All right. Pringles, <laughs> bananas, we are with you. But that's all right. We have to work for now. Thanks, Kim. Yeah.